Well, hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Janice, and today I'm going to show you what I got at the VIP sale at Sephora. Well, I should be upstairs watching Big Brother right now, but I wanted to hop on here real quick and show you guys what I got at the Sephora VIP sale. I just got it this morning, so I didn't pick up that much, but I got a few nice things. So if you want to see what I got at the Savora VIP sale, please stay tuned. All right, I uh, didn't pick up that much. I didn't really need that much. I have. So much makeup now that I surely didn't need a lot, but I thought I'd check it out. It is my birthday month in September and I had gotten an email from them telling me to go ahead and pick up my birthday gift and I thought, well, it's a good time to go ahead and go online and check out their sale and get my birthday gift. So that's what I did. I've been into it already. <laughs> Alright, first off, I'll show you what I got for my birthday present. I I had to choose between four different things, art points, and I took this. It's Urban Decay um, All Nighter, I believe, yeah, face spray, and then a eyeshadow. And I already had a Urban Decay All Nighter, but I thought it would be nice just to throw in my purse. Um, maybe my makeup is melting and just spritz myself. So I picked up that. And next, they gave us a little eyeshadow. And this is Moon Dust. It's really pretty. I've got that Hoche eye palette, but it's nice to have a little, a little one. And it's glittery and really pretty. And swatch it. There it is. It's really pretty. So I have a peach color. All right. That's what I got for my birthday gift. And here's what I chose to buy at the sale. This was already on sale for nine dollars. It's no problem. And is a priming eraser. I thought I was really intrigued by that. I thought, hmm. Well, for only nine dollars plus I got fifteen percent off, I'll go ahead and get it. And that's what I did. So let's see here. Really unique. Comes like a little stick here. And looks like that. It's really different. And it's supposed to blend out your imperfections, your wrink soften your wrinkles and pores. I have to read more about it, but that's what I read about it so far. Then you've got a little smudgy thing here. I guess you just go ahead and push it in. I don't know. I gotta play around with it. So I'm curious if this is gonna work. Maybe I'll hide some of these wrinkles. <laughs> At least blur them out a little bit. Well, that would be nice. Alright. That is the No Problem Priming Eraser. And I've been wanting this for quite some time now. And I just didn't want to pay that much for it because, well, I didn't really need it, but I wanted it. It's a, it's a want, not a need. And this is by Tasha. It is their Silk Canvas Primer. Another primer. I just heard rave reviews about this, so I'm going to try it. I just got the mini, being I have so much primer already, I didn't really need the bigger one. And they do say that a little bit goes a long ways. So, 
if I find I want to repurchase and really love it, I'll get the big one. And that's what it looks like. And I'm not, I think I read you only need like a size of a rice on your whole face. I don't know. Let's see. It blurs out some hand wrinkles. You know, it's kind of hard to blend up mine. And it's hard to tell. But it looks like it might do the job. At least helping. But it also leaves a nice silk canvas on your face. <laughs> oh boy, dogs are... Every time I get on camera, they hear my voice and they think someone's here. They're upstairs, so they're hearing me down here in the basement. This was $22, and I got the 15% off of that. So, and I got one more thing. I didn't go crazy. I was a good girl. I have to watch my budget these days. I've been wanting this for a very long time, at least to try the formula. So I seen that this was on sale. It now retails for $49. I know I got it cheaper than that, but it's off sale. I'm trying to remember what it was. I tried to look it up and I couldn't find it. I'm going to say it was about 25 plus I got 15% off. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I thought, oh, now's the time to try this. This is the eye palette by Viziar. And it is a nine pan palette of highly pigmented eyeshadows. I okay, here we go. That is the outside. And it's really pretty packaging. Okay, I gotta get it open here. It's a little tricky to open. I think for an expensive palette, they make it easy on you. Okay, I'll get it here. <clears throat> okay, I know there's a way to get this. Why did I close it? <laughs> This is crazy. Shouldn't be that hard. I'm making noise on my table here. Sorry about that. Oh. I was hoping the wrong side. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Alright, I still can't get it open even the right side. Oh. Goodness gracious. Ah, there. I got it. All right, here comes a nice big mirror, and there are the colors. We've got three rows, of course, and then it's a nine shadow palette. One thing I notice about this, gosh, for so much money, um, they have it named, but they have it on this little sheet here. But it stays on, so that's different. Let's see if I can figure out names of these. Well, I got the um, website up here. It tells you here. I'll just read it. Okay, the first one is Rebellion, then Unleash, and Empowered. And that goes here. Here to here. Alright, the next one is Resistance. Let me get my magnifying glass. Resistance, Boundless, and Chant. That is the middle row. And then the bottom one is Defiance, Shameless, and Deboshed. Hmm. I didn't know that was a word. <laughs> and it goes right here. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you since I have the time. This is going to be a short video, so might as well. I haven't done that yet. Now I mean bright lights. I thought this was a black down here, but it's in dark navy blue. And I did use that today as an eyeliner. Boy, it went on. Like a regular eyeliner, I was surprised. 
so I think I'm gonna be very happy with this. All right, we're gonna go ahead and find a spot to do this. So I'm not a good at this, <laughs> but they're pretty pigmented just from the arm swatches. And I got, I did use this navy blue one as my eyeliner today and it went on seamless. It was, it really, it's really nice. It's soft though. I noticed the texture is, um, the texture is soft, not real soft, but oh, how can I put that? It feels dry to the touch, but it's dark, and it, but it's soft. It's, does that make sense? No, I know it doesn't make sense. But anyways, I, I think I'm going to really like this. Of course, wearing it for a few times would really tell me how I like it. I would like to get more of these, but they're very expensive. So we'll see. And I have a lot of eyeshadow, so it's like I don't have to have this. But I want it. These are fairly dark colors, but fall is upon us, then winter, so I'll probably get good use out of this. All right. The packaging's really pretty. It's like copper. They got a little plastic thing over it. All right. So. That is that, and oh yes, I got to pick out a couple samples. I'll show you that since I'm on at it. I got a Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Kissing Lipstick Samples. I'm really anxious to try this Pillow Talk. I heard a lot of good things about that. I heard that's like the ride or die for most people. It's pretty. These are fairly light and nudie, which I could give. I don't care about that so much. I like more color. So I'm anxious to try them. The other sample I picked up was by Giorgio Armani, and it's their foundations. And I got four different colors there to try. This one looks really, really light but I could probably use that as a brighter. And I would say I'm probably this color down here, just by the looks of it. But I'm gonna try that out. It's Lush Luminous Soap Foundation. I've never used Giorgio Armani or Charlotte Tilbury. They're luxury makeup, which I've never really had the money to buy, but I always did want to try them. So, I'm really excited to try these samples. All right, that's just my Sephora haul from the VIP sale. It just went off the 27th. So, I'm hoping you got in on it. If not, I'm sure they'll be having one soon. They have them occasionally. I'm not for, for sure how often. I know at least twice a year. Now, Alta is coming up with theirs starting September 1st. So, there's really nothing I need. Everything, I looked at the pamphlet and there's not one thing that I want, but there's a lot of nice things on there. A lot of things I already have. <laughs> uh, I tend to buy from Ulta more than Sephora because I like their point system better. You uh, end up getting money back instead of um, points where you just get little samples like this. I mean, these are nice though. I mean, it's a good way to try them out. But anywho, that is it. That's all I gotta say. And if you haven't already, please subscribe right down there. Smash that bell for future notifications so you'll be notified when my next video is up. Also, like this video and comment. And don't forget to share. Alright, that's all I have for now, but I'll have more soon. So, we'll see you later. Bye.